Hi, this is Tim Huckabee from Internology for Bytes by MSDN. Today, our guest is Scott Stanfield from Vertigo Software. Scott, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Tim. Hey, clearly Vertigo is one of the leaders in the Silverlight ecosystem. Can you give us a little background on how you jumped into Silverlight, how, how it's progressed through the years? If we had jumped into Flash, that would be miraculous. The move to Silverlight was straightforward in a sense for a company that has developers and designers already on board doing .NET. So for us, it was a, a natural transition. It's the same tools, the same language, the same platform. So we started 18 months ago. So in a sense, it's been fairly uh, quick in our time frame, but it's been, it's been a good run. And do you have somehow figured out how to get the developers to work with the designers in a Visual Studio solution? Right. Everyone wants to hear how in the world you pulled that it's, off. It's uh, cats and dogs living together, right. mass hysteria. Right. We've been working, so we, we have a, de a, a distinct design team from our developers, um, people with like fine art backgrounds, and they do information architecture, graphic design, and all the phases in between. Um, they, for the most part, have switched over to expression design tools. However, they still use Visual Studio currently in, the, in this incarnation to get the code that they need, sorry, the files they need to do their work. Now, we use a couple of development tricks and techniques called the model view controller. We make some tweaks to make our solutions blendable. So a couple, a little bit of the secret sauce there, but it does allow our, our teams to work on the same body of code. So when the designers are allowed to, under the folder called views, they can make whatever changes they want, and they just show up. And it's taken us a while to figure out how to do all this, uh, you know, starting with the, the Hard Rock memorabilia project. and. Mix of 2008, that was our first public Silverlight project, Silverlight 2 Beta. And so we've learned a lot through, what, the 18 months or so. Which is a great segue to the next question. You're involved in a very big announcement here at the PDC. Uh, do you mind talking a little bit about the Olympics? Sure. So uh, the Olympics, the <laughs> 2010 Vancouver Olympics, which is begins on February 12th. Um, it is a big, big deal. Um, there is a tremendous amount, I mean, although the Olympics don't start for another 90 or so days, I had this countdown clock in my head. Right. Um, NBC Universal, our customer, launched their site, it's called the Countdown to Vancouver, launched it 100 days before, and so that's on November 4th when they launched the site, and so they're constantly adding content to build awareness. One of the things NBC does so well is to tell the story of the athletes. So if you know about like Lindsey Vaughn, our gold medal hopefulist for the women's downhill, she was in a pretty bad accident in Torino. There's a great highlight piece about her comeback and her training for it. Um, we'll learn about Apollo Ono a lot and how he's going for another gold in the short track speed skating. So while there's still great technology under the, under the covers, and there's a whole slew of partners besides Vertigo, um, Ice Cream Planet, Akamai, um, Delta Trey, uh, there's a lot of companies uh, and groups together that came to make this thing happen. We happened to do two pieces for the Olympic site um, in Silverlight. We did the video playback experience and we did the photo gallery experience. All in Silverlight. All Silverlight. All Silverlight 3. Photo gallery is all around deep zoom technology. So we've kind of taken some ideas that we did for the Hard Rock Memorabilia project and uh, Playboy Archive. Um, and taken some of that technology and made it so you can navigate through a very large collection of photos quickly. Um, all the while kind of servicing up some of the requirements about the photo attribution and ratings and collections and they expect tens of thousands of photos to come on live during the event. Outstanding, just outstanding. So the photo stuff and the video stuff alone, I mean we get high definition with DVR style controls. Wow. So you're watching live HD with pause, rewind, playback with VOD clips you can share with your friends, you get play-by-play -play commentary. I don't think there's a, a lot of business productivity for those 17 days. <laughs> that is just great. Thank you so much for sharing that today. And thank you for watching.